Today, let's actually burn some pipe, maybe even catch some paper on fire. So we have a set of torches here. Uh, we're gonna show you what thermal conductivity on copper actually looks like as it moves from one space to the next. Uh, yeah, so let's 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 catch this on. Let's do it. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Not just me. Safety first. Oh, yes, of course. You need Long, to be protected. dramatic pause. Okay, here we go. And so we're not gonna do a little bit of heat. I like to turn up the heat. There we go. Okay. That is right. more. So when we talk about copper, we talk about, you know, heating it with torches. We're, we're basically trying to melt it. We're trying to connect two pieces together. And what happens when you get it nice and hot, right? <laughs> you can see that temperature actually following down the pipe. It's changing colors. It's going all the way down to the bottom to the point where the paper right. catches fire. This is a bad thing. We don't want this to actually happen. So <laughs> I think we have a product that can actually fix this. So. I, I think we might have a solution to this. We're going to take yeah. our wet rag, yep. heat, blocking. heat blocking putty. Just get in there. Get it all in my rings, there we my go. nails, everything. Yeah, I like to sometimes rub it around on my no. face, you know, it's low exfoliation. And we want to make sure we squeeze it onto the pipe completely with no air gaps. And again, that pipe, although that one was completely disintegrated, you can see the difference in color, right? And that's because when we heated the source on one end, that thermal conductivity, right, that heat transfers down the pipe all the way across. And so this is designed to protect heat sensitive things like expansion valves, uh, sensing bulbs, temperature sensors, uh, cables, zip ties, whatever may be connected there, even to the point where we have dissimilar metals like copper and aluminum connected together. Remember, aluminum has a lower melting point than copper. And so when we're trying to heat copper up to braze copper to copper, it's important to maintain a lower temperature on that, that piece of metal that might actually um, you know, lose its bond altogether and create a leak somewhere in a system. And so- All right, I think I, like I got it. enough packed on there. You sound a little concerned. No. Nope. Oh, okay, good. No, nope, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> More fire. All right. Nice and red hot. So as you can see, we're, we're I mean, it's, it's hot. Yeah, it burned a hole right through the copper. <laughs> this is just so you know, not something you want to do on your average system, but to just to display how hot this pipe is actually getting, there you have it. Beautiful. All right. Where what? Surgically cut it. Oh, there we go. Straight through. <laughs> and there you have it. And look. Paper is still not on fire, right? The putty actually did its job. It protected our heat sensitive devices here. Um, and that's exactly what it's designed for. Yep. So. And then, I mean, we can just Look at that. Oh, yeah. 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 No. no. We, you want to peel that off? Yeah. I can peel it off and show you how far it actually got. Yep. There you go. Completely No discoloration protective. compared to something that's actually, right? Here's our same model piece here. Actually, let's grab the one that's actually out of the bucket here. Here we go. <laughs> same unfortunate demise. And you can see that temperature discoloration goes all the way down to the bottom here. And here, we don't have that. Right, it stopped actually right here at the top of the putty. Now there's a little bit that's connected here, but with a little bit of water, comes right off. And this yeah. is exactly what it's designed for. Yep. And then we just put it back in the I container and we're done. Reduce, and reuse, we can recycle. Reuse it. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.